Another video by Las Vegas Air. We're on the way up to the roof. We're coming on a new unit estimate. And let's see what we got. I hear there's some scrapping that's happened here. And uh, oh yeah, certainly has been scrapped. This one, not so much scrapped as vandalized. All my panels are here though. My electrical, it's all intact. Looks huh. like they cut it here, cut it here. Cut it here, cut it here. Huh. So, huh. Well, it's a shame, Las Vegas. Guys are just getting so desperate and just stealing everything. You know, the guys, the guys came up here, they ripped apart this unit. They probably made themselves $50 in copper. Probably took them two hours to scrap this couple hours to scrap it down into pure copper enough to be sold to the scrap yard so after their theft taking it home getting it ready scrapping separating the, the steel from the copper they make five dollars an hour for four hours and uh, they cost this poor person a lot of money we got one unit completely scrapped out Two units completely scrapped out. Three units completely scrapped out. And it looks like one unit that uh, I think I can fix. I mean, this is a new unit. This is just a shame to allow this thing to get thrown in the trash. Uh, the lady did ask me what we can do about the costs. She was concerned with the, with the prices being too high. She said she just flat out can't afford to buy one, two, three, four new units all in one day. Uh, she's asking if we could go used units or if we have any scratch and dents. So anything we can do to keep the price down on this one for this lady. And so, uh, you know, we uh, we work for the customer. So we'll do what we are, we're asked. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to recommend that I fix this machine. Uh, in reality, it's just it's just void of Freon. It's just got a leak. That's the only thing wrong with this thing. Uh, it's got a real major leak, but if I put that back together, I put that back together, I secure these, I put that back together, make sure these uh, cap tubes aren't bent and they're straightened and secure it all back the way it came. I could pull a nice long vacuum. Uh, what I would probably do is fix this machine first. Once I got it all brazed in and sealed, I would pull a vacuum. I would uh, let it run for, heck, the whole time while I'm installing that one and that one. I mean, I'd let this vacuum run a long time. Uh, just to make sure we didn't get any moisture in the system. Uh, one thing that a lot of guys are going to tell the lady is that she's got to replace this thing because it's been open to the atmosphere so long and there is some truth to that but uh, the fact is in the real world we're at the mercy of a budget if it was a perfect world we'd change them all but it's not so we're going to go ahead and give this one a fix replace that one replace that one replace that one and once again, what a shame. Look at this place. Man. Went off in that distance. Well, there you have it, Las Vegas. More scrapped units. Right down here by the Boulevard Mall. Las Vegas Air signing out.